Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Christians Unite Bible Readings, we are going to be reading 1 Peter chapter 1. Salutation. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. So this is just Peter, literally, it's an opening message to the believers that were there during those days. Hope for the future. Verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and the fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you. So this is talking about our hope in Jesus Christ. So our faith allows us to be hopeful for the future. Trials for the present. Who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time? Wherein you greatly rejoice through now for a season, if need be in heaviness through manifold temptations. The trial of your faith beginning much more precious than of gold that perishes through it be tried with fire, might be found into praise and honor and glory in the appearing of Jesus Christ. Whom having not seen, ye love, and whom, though you have not seen him not, yet believing, you rejoice with joy, joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. So this section of scripture talks about trials of faith. So sometimes we will have tribulations where Having faith in God will be difficult, but God is still there. And we will be blessed for following God, even though in our present day, we can't physically see him, but yet still have faith that he is there. Anticipation in the past. Of what salvation is the prophets have inquired and searched diligently with prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when it's testified beforehand the suffering of Christ and the glory that should follow unto whom whom it was revealed that not unto themselves but unto us they did minister these things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you which the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven which things the angels desired to look into so what this is saying is that everything that happened before Christ, it was all set up. Time had literally set things in motion for the grace that Jesus Christ gives us would come to pass. So in the past, events literally occurred to bring us to where we are in the present day. Be ye holy. Verse 13. Wherefore, gird up your loins of your mind, be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is be brought unto you to the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance, but his, he which had called you is holy. So be holy in a manner of uh, conversation. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And if you call on the Father, who with respect of persons judges according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. For so much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver or gold from your vain con conversation received by traditions from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish, without spot, who verily was for ordained 
before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in his last times for you, who by him do believe in God, that raises him up from the dead and gave him glory, that your, fa your faith and hope might be in God. So we are to be living a life of goodness. We should be doing everything we can to not sin, because Jesus did not sin. Now, because we are fallen creatures, we will sin. However, we have the freedom to choose not to. So it's a daily battle to try to follow Jesus Christ and be more like him each day. This is what you need to do. It's very important because our walk with Christ is seen by other people. So we need to do that. We need to follow Christ and be servants of him.